Hello. Welcome to a 40 TV live stream. Guys, uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, whether it's morning or it's afternoon or uh, at dawn in your country. But welcome to a 40 TV live stream, guys. Uh, please share the live video when you come in. Uh, share it on your timeline. Share it in your uh, various groups. Um, share it wherever you want to share it, okay? Uh, and then send stars to support Wofoy TV platform. But thank you so much for joining today. Guys, I know that I normally don't make live videos at night on Facebook. Typically, it's on TikTok. But today, I wanted to come in here and address certain things. I know there are people in other groups. Some of my groups, they are asking questions. And I wanted to make a video so that I can address those questions, all right? So in the meantime, let me send the links to the group so that uh, those people can join in, all right? But guys, when you join in, just uh, share the, the light video. Like I said, share it in your uh, various groups um, and let your friends also find out about, you know, what's up, all right? Um, I know you are all excited, but know that the Greek Art Lottery is uh, beginning on the 5th, 5th of October. All right, guys, I'm trying to get the link and share it in the Facebook group, okay? I uh, Just give me a moment, all right? Um, so, guys, uh, if this is your first time here, uh, welcome. Hi, Benjamin. Hi, Alidu. Uh, how are you? Um, guys, if you are excited for the Greek Car Lottery, then know that in no time, in just today, so the Greek Car Lottery is going to start about, is it a week from now? Is it about a week? No, not from today, but from Wednesday, a week from Wednesday. So yeah, um... So, uh, um, guys, I'm trying to get a link for the Facebook groups so that they can also join in. And just give me a moment, all right? I'm trying to get the link for the Facebook group. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm trying to get it for the Facebook groups. Okay, now I got a group here. Welcome, 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 guys. Welcome to uh, for your TV live stream. If this is your first time here, welcome we have great you know uh information for you for the dv lottery and we are excited to have you here tonight guys i'm going to talk about um yeah let me paste the link here i hope that those people in the groups they'll be able to join in guys just give me a moment let me share the link and then we'll talk about the photograph Hi, Alidu. If you have a question, you can post your question in the comment and I will get to it. I just want to post the link for the video in the group so that they too can watch it, all right? Because I know there are a lot of people in the groups and then they end up asking the same questions that I have discussed on the live video. And I want to make sure that we are not leaving them out of the video, um, the live video. And then, you know, they having to figure out things for themselves. That's not what I want to happen. So I'm sharing the links in all the various groups. But guys, thank you so much for sticking around and coming in here. Share the videos in your various groups. Uh, in a second, I will be done with sharing the links. And then we will start, you know, the actual topic. All right. So, guys, uh, like I said, it's October 5th. October 5th is just, you know, maybe a week, a week, like next week or something like that. Um, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for spending your time, taking time from whatever you're doing, whether it's late at night over there, it's 8 p.m. here in uh, Central Standard Time, right? But, guys, today I wanted to talk to you about the name, how you're going to write your name on the DV lottery application or the American visa lottery. Okay. You will wonder like, okay, my name is my name. I'm going to type my name anyhow I want it. But guys, you'll be surprised at the number of people who make mistakes with their own name. Your own name will 
some people still make mistakes and those mistakes can be very expensive so i just want to make sure that we are covering all the basics okay we are making sure that you have all the information that you need to be mistakes free okay we don't want you to have any mistake to cost you um this uh once in a lifetime opportunity so i will show you the screen uh in a little bit uh when i get to it okay i'll share the screen with you so that you guys will see the screen that i'm talking about for you to see how your name is going to be so typically uh most people will have like an english name or european name and or anglo name and then they will have their their ethnic name and typically those names are name uh, your name after your father your name after your mother it depends on the culture in some cultures people are named after their mothers in some cultures people are named after their father all right so uh on uh on under normal circumstances our names are in two forms you have your christian name or your european name or and then you have your traditional african name the name that comes from your origin if you are not an african uh, wherever you come from there's a name that might be unique to your area right so it might be your father's name your grandparents name name that has been in your family that was passed down to you all right so during the dv lottery registration time when you go to the forum um the first uh column that you will fill will be um uh, your name okay your name i'm scrolling up because the form is right here so i'll show you guys in a little bit all right so you go to your last name your last name will be the first one last name or family name um so for instance my name is phyllis Efa. Efa is the family name Efa is the name that i'm getting from my family your father is your family your mother is your family but your last name whoever is connected to is it your grandma that is your family name that is your last name or in certain parts of the world we call it surname surname right your surname so that name will come first so in the last name column you have to put if that was me and i was filling the divilo tree i will put the name that is the last name in the first column which is ifa so let's say uh frederick uh adabra if you are filling the dv lottery and you look at the column if this is your official name if frederick adabra is your official name then when you're filling the greek card lottery the first column where it says last name you put adabra and then you will check that no middle name and then you will put in the first name column you put frederick right and so today somebody was asking me what about those who have four names there are some people who have four names well the four names there, there is still you know like a, a way to split that name up let's say somebody is called mary elizabeth akosia ajay mary elizabeth akosia ajay so mary and elizabeth those are first names it is treated as first name i'm not saying i am the one treating it but you who has that name you know that they treat it as two uh, two first names some of you have um two first names some people may have uh john paul a j john paul whatever right you have two first names so whenever they call you they call you by two names Please be mindful of that. They call you by two first names. Somebody, they call you Mary Jane. Um, they call you uh, Grace Joe, like Grace Josephine. So some of you may have two first names. You don't split that name up. If the name is treated as two first names, when you're filling the Greek allotry, where it says first name, Put the ones that they are treated as first names there. And then you put the last name. So if somebody has four names, the last names are two. Let's say like in Ghana, all right? So guys, the examples that I'm going to give, 
they are mostly going to be Ghanaian names. But if you're from another country and you have multiple names, you can uh, type them in the comment and then I will attempt to split that for you. All right. So let's say um, somebody is called Mary Jane, Mary Jane uh, Yebua uh, Asiyama, right? We know Yebua and Asiyama if you are an Akan person. You know that Yebua and Asiyama, they, they, they work together. That name, is they are like twin. They are paired up. You don't split that. Yebua and Asiyama, it's, they go together right um ajewa kodie um that name they work together there are some Ghanaian names right they work together you don't split them into two so those two names will be at you know the last name or the family name column let's say your name is called philip upon checheku upon and checheku they are named that is like a twin name they go together you don't split them you cannot call somebody Chechiku and then forget about the Opon, right? So if your name has Opon Chechiku, you are not going to split it and put Chechiku in the middle and then Opon are the last name. Those two names work together. Some of you may have names that are hyphenated, right? Hyphenated. Maybe Yadam Boache. Yadam and Boache, they are like a twin name. They go together. Anybody who is called Boache, the the nickname of Boache is Yadom. So mostly Yadom Boache, they go together, right? So if you have a name like that, you are not going to split it. You will treat them as two last names. I hope that makes clear. Like guys, if you feel that my explanation is not working for you, just let me know. All right? Let me know in the comment section. There are some names that are hyphenated. Let's say. Your name is Nana uh, Adudankwa. If the name is hyphenated, when you're filling the form, the form will not allow you to put a hyphen there. Okay? The form will not allow you to put a hyphen. It doesn't take a foreign character. So if your last name is a hyphenated last name, you will have to treat them as two separate names in the last name column. So let's say your name is Ado Dankwa, right? But let's say it is a hyphenated name. So you will remove the hyphen, you will type Ado in the last name column, and then you, you leave a space and then you type Dankwa. You don't put the hyphen there. You have to remove the hyphen, okay? So when you're typing your name and you're running into problems because you put hyphen there, remember, when you put the hyphen in the in any part of the column, it will not take it. All right, it only accepts alphabet. Hyphen is not an alphabet. That dash, you know, add dash down. That dash will have to come out. It will not take it. So just be mindful of that. If your name is a single name, your name is a single name. Let's say my name is Phyllis. I don't have any last name. I don't have any other name. Even though it is a first name, on the Divine Lottery, you will treat it as a last name. Guys, I hope you are listening to me carefully. If you have a single name, let's say that your name is Fahad. Fahad is your name. There is no last name. There is nothing. Your name is Fahad. That's it. So when you are filling the Divine Lottery application form, where it says last name, you will put the Fahad there, even if it is your 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 uh, your first name. If your name is, um, let's say, Madonna, right? I always use Madonna as an example because Madonna, who knows Madonna the singer? Who knows her last name? I've never heard that she has a last name. There are some celebrities who have one name. They don't have a last name. They've never used their last name. So we all don't know their last names, right? So if your name is single, when you're filling the DV lottery form, where it says last name, you will put that name there. It doesn't matter whether that name is supposed to be, you feel like it is an English name, it is an European name. So let me put it at first name. No, 
you will put that name in the last name column. That column that says last name stroke family name, something must be typed there. Does that make sense? The last name column, you cannot leave that place empty. If you leave it empty, it will not allow you to proceed. It will not allow you to continue the application. All right? I'm going to show you guys the... Um, sorry, it's like I hear some sound over here. I'm going to show you guys the um, uh, the application form here so that you see what I'm referring to, all right? I'll take the camera and show you what I'm talking about, all right? Okay. So, let's see. All right. So, guys, you see this column here, right? So, when you're filling the DV lottery, this is the form. Here it says last name slash family name. This is where your surname will go. Your surname. Your surname will go here. If there are two names, you will type those two names. No hyphen. You see here, if you don't type anything here, the form will not allow you to go forward. Look at this part. Here is first name. If you don't have first name, you will check here. No first name. If you don't have middle name, you will check here. No middle name. But here, you see there is no check at the bottom. You see here, it says no first name. No middle name. But you see the last name column. It doesn't allow you to check anywhere. So you must type something. You must enter something in this column. So those of you who have single names, there are not many of us. Well, many of you. Me, I don't have a single name. So if your name is just one name, your name is Gifty, that is it. You don't have a last name, that is it. Everywhere you've been going with one name and it has been, then you will type Gifty here. And here you will check no first name, no middle name. Even if the Gifty is the first name, do you get this point? If your name is one single name, you will type it here. Here, this column here, where you have the, you are seeing this arrow. You type it here. And then you will check no first name, no middle name. But if you are somebody who has first name or surname and uh, first name, which is giving name in the passport, they call it giving name. Then you will type the giving name here. Look inside your passport. Those of you who have passport, you will type first name is what we call giving name. So inside your passport, if they have three names in the giving name uh, column, you will type those two names here. Me, my giving name are two names. So I will put the two names here. My name is Phyllis Equia Ifa. So I type Phyllis and you leave small space and then you type Equia. And then here I will type what? Ifa. And then here I will check what? No middle name. That is how it shows in my passport. So when I'm filling this application, that is the same way I'm going to treat it. Okay. So those of you who have passport, you are not going to enter your passport number on this application. But when your name, you are entering your name, make sure that your name is the way it's supposed to be. Don't go and make a mistake. Because if you make a mistake, it will be difficult for you to correct it. If you make a mistake and you go and put Phyllis here and you put Ifa here, hey, you will be in big trouble. So, like uh, Solomon, you're saying your name is, uh, did you type somebody or that is your name? So, if your name is Amos Edu Jemfi, you will type Edu Jemfi in this column. And then you type Amos here. And then you will click here. No middle name. All right. Solomon Edu Jemfi, if you are also filling the form, you will put I do gem fee here. You take the hyphen. You, you see, you have a dash in your name. You have a hyphen in your name. You will remove that dash or hyphen from there. You will type a do gem fee. And then you will put Solomon here. 
and then here this column you will click here in this small box and say no middle name does that make sense if you want me to you know show you how you're going to type your name please type in the comment comment section and let me know okay if you are still confused about it if you don't if you don't say it and later you inbox me and i don't have time don't don't make noise i beg all right your first name or the family name will come here your surname your in 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 spanish what is even how do they call it in spanish let me find my passport and even look at it for you guys because i know it's not only in english i know it's not only in english so let's see in my uh, passport let's see your surname will go to the last name column your norm those of you who are french if you are from a francophone country you will put your norm here right and then prenom will be here if you don't have a middle name you will check no middle name if you put a name here you put a name here and you you leave this place empty without checking here it, the form will not allow you to go all right so uh uh every year martin Kujo, right so the way you have written your name i think your name is going to be martin Kujo is going to be here martin Kujo is going to be in this column a free year will be here a free year will be here you will type martin Kujo here in the first name column because i believe in your passport your given name will be martin Kujo. So you put both names here. Martin Kojo here, a free year here. Martin Kojo here, a free year here. And then in this year, this column here, middle name, you will check no middle name. You will check here, no middle name. All right? Guys, if you want me to tell you about your name, you have to put it in the comment section. All right? I want to help you so that you will not make mistakes. All right? Your last name, your family name, if it's your father's last name or your mother's name that you were given, your grandma's name, that was, you are going to put that here. You put your first name or the given names. Those of you who have passports, you can look inside your passport and see what it says your given names are. So you put your given names over here. If your given names are three, you will type all three names here. And then you will check here, no middle name. Many Africans, we don't have middle names. So don't go and stress yourself. And I have four names, so it doesn't mean that you have a middle name. I beg. So look in your, those of you who have a passport. So Bernard Double Frimpong, right? You will put Frimpong here. You will put Frimpon here, and then you will put Bernard Double here. Bernard Double here. You just have to space it. You type your Bernard, and then you click space, and then you type Double. Um, Dan so Frank. Um, so you will put. So by Dan so Frank, you have Kuju. Is that also part of your? your official name on your birth certificate if kujo is not part of your birth certificate then that's fine if it's part of your birth certificate then you must include it okay but let's say your name is just frank uh, danso frank you will put danso here and you put frank here and then you will check this box no middle name okay no middle name all right um Teoflo, what link are you asking? What link are you asking? I cannot give you this. This is not a link. I cannot give you a, this link. It is not a link. All right. Um, so guys, you will put your first name here. You uh oh, sorry, you put your family or last name here. Sorry. Last name here, and then you put your first name over here. Okay. You will put your last or family 
family name or your norm or your surname here and then you put your first name or given names given names here okay and then the middle name you will check here you will check here if you don't have a middle name many people don't have middle names so if you don't have a middle name don't go and manufacture one you will click here guys i hope this is understood i hope this is understood if you have questions please let me know before i meet i move on to the next topic which is about the photo if you want me to look at your name you have to type in the comment section don't inbox me i may not have time to respond to that if you want me to split your name for you and and uh give you an idea how you will fill your name on the application please you need to type it in the comment section if you inbox me i may not have time to do that all right if there are no questions i will move on to the next topic don't forget this column you must enter something here type something here this column here you must type something here a your name you must type your name if your name is a single name your name is a single name you will type that single name here if your name is madonna you don't have a last name your name is just single madonna that's it you will type that name here and then you will check no first name no middle name this is only for people who have one name. If in your life you have only one name, every document you have one name. So uh, Asante Emmanuel Kujo, you will type Asante here. You will type Asante here. You will type Emmanuel Kujo. And then here you will check no middle name. Okay? You will check no middle name. If you don't check this box, it will not let you continue. Okay? If you don't check this box, it will not let you continue. So you will type Asante, Emmanuel, Kojo. You will space it here. And then you will check this box. No middle name. If you don't check this box, the form will think that you forgot to type something here. But when you check this box, it will make this box here gray. It will make it seem like, oh, you now you've shown that you don't need to type anything here. So if you don't need to type anything for the middle name, you need to check this box. You cannot leave this box unchecked. You either check this box or you type something there. So you cannot, if you want to leave this box empty, you must check here. If you want to leave this box empty, you must check here. But this box cannot be empty under no circumstance. This box here cannot be empty. Okay? So, uh, let's see. Emmanuel Kweku Davison. Okay? So, Emmanuel, is Davison your family name? Is Davison your family name? Is it your father's name? If Davison is your father's name, or if it's your family name, then you put Davison here. And then you type Emmanuel Kweku. And then you check no middle name. Emmanuel Kweku. No middle name. Davison will be here. If Davison is your family name or your father's name or your grandfather's name. The name that you are inheriting from a family member. You put that name here. Me, I inherit the Ifa from my father. So it is under the family name column. But if you have a passport, where it says giving names, giving names, the name that you were given, look inside your passport, you will see. Where it says prenom, prenom or giving names, you will type the whole names over here. And then you will check no middle name. Okay? Guys, be very careful. You don't use a name that is not an official name for you. Be careful you don't use a name that is not official name for you. Some people, your name is, let's say, Gloria Aj. You put Aj here and you put Gloria there. You check no middle name. But then on social media, you call yourself 
Gloria, it means, in, um, is it Adam, right? Gloria is Adam, I think. Aha, uh -huh. so Davison, so exactly how I told you, since if Davison is your family name, then exactly how I showed you, that is how you do it. Like some people, they call them blessing, but on social media, you call yourself Inshira. Don't go and type Inshira here. If Inshira is not your official, it's not on your official birth certificate, even though it is a translated version of your name, it's not the same, okay? Uh, Kwame Adobuafo. Yes, if your name is hyphenated, you will remove the hyphen and you put, if it's your last name, so, um, like, like Adobuafo, you will type Adobuafo here and remove the hyphen. You cannot keep the hyphen in on this form. It will, it will kick you out. So you just put Ado, you space, and then put Buafo, and then you can put Kwame over here, and then you put no middle name. You have to check here, no middle name, right? Um, Denise, is it Denise Slip Abraham? Is that a person's name or you are just tagging somebody? Um, um, uh, Davido, I don't know if you are tagging somebody or is somebody's actual name. Um, but just go by the same principle that I've shown you. If your name is hyphenated, you have to remove the hyphen. If your name has an apostrophe somewhere, apostrophe somewhere, you may have to remove the apostrophe, right? Um, I remember recently uh, uh, somebody uh, in my friends on Facebook said that their name, there was like an apostrophe. It was like Nadum, Nadum, right? Like his grace or his glory. I don't know what that means. But when you type it in a system, you cannot have the apostrophe there. You have to remove the apostrophe there. You just have to type it together. So if your name is Nadum, but it's N apostrophe A D O M, you cannot put the apostrophe there. You have to put N A D O M. You have to remove the apostrophe. It will not work for these forms. Okay. So the same for hyphen. Remember that the when it comes to the name column, they only take um they take alphabets. Okay. Alphabets. Um, don't put anything that is not alphanumeric, okay? Uh, sometimes they might take uh, Roman numerals, but remember, they may not take uh, alpha um, non-alphanumeric like you, you put uh, special characters. They will not take special characters like hyphen, apostrophe, colon, slash. They are not going to take any, you know, special character at symbol hash you know or pine a uh, pound sign or um asterisk symbol they are not going to take that in these columns okay so just be mindful any column if these two columns if you don't fill anything here you must check this box before you can leave it empty if you're going to leave this one empty you must check this box if you're going to leave this one empty you must check this box too you cannot leave it empty and leave these boxes unchecked. But here, you cannot. You cannot leave it empty. So make sure you are putting A champion, you're asking, can we fill with capital letters? Yes, you can. It doesn't matter whether you use capital letters or small letters, uppercase or lowercase. It doesn't matter. Whichever one you feel comfortable with. But for me personally, my personal advice, sometimes, Sometimes when I'm filling something and I type in capital letters, I don't make mistakes, especially when I'm typing my name, right? Like, let's say you are typing your name uh, or like when you're filling the form, you get to a certain point. Sometimes your I and one, they look the same. Uh, uh, small L, the small letter L and capital I, sometimes they look the same. So sometimes... For me to avoid any problems, if I do them capital letters, I know there's no way capital I and capital L, they don't look alike. But then if you're typing them in small letters, if you don't take it, sometimes you may confuse yourself. All right. So if typing in capital letters is best for you, then you do that. A champion or say Francis. So it looks like a champion might be your family name. If your father's name is a champion, then guess what? You put the champion here, right? And then you put, let me see, um, 
You put Francis or say, Francis or say, and then the champ on here, Francis or say in this column, Francis or say, and then a champ on here. Okay, yes. So whichever one is your father's name, your grandmother's name, your mother's name, the name that you inherited from your family, that one will go in this column. Then the given names will come over here. Okay. Some of you may not have middle names, so don't even be stressing about middle names, all right? Uh huh. In middle names, may, it's not common in Ghana, especially, but some people may have middle names. Like, uh, I would say people in central region, Cape Coast, because many of them have several English names, right? So sometimes somebody will be called uh, Grace, Grace, and then there will be Marie something. And Marie is not part of their first name. It might be a middle name. Grace Marie, let's say Nelson. So the Nelson is their last name, but Marie is treated as a middle name because the same person they call Grace Nelson, Grace Nelson. But then the person has a middle name that you don't hear about a lot, right? Uh -huh. But it's not common, okay? So if in your passport you don't have a middle name, please don't force yourself and give yourself one, okay? So you make sure in your passport, if it says, where it says giving name, guys, in your passport, it will tell you giving name. So go ahead and put your giving names. If it's two names, three names, you type it under the, the giving name is first name. Giving name is your first name. It goes in the first name column. So those of you who have passports, where you have your given names, that is where the that those names must go in the first name column. And then you check no middle name, you put your family name here, right? Okay. So uh Denise uh Slip Abraham. But how will I know if Denise is a last name? I don't know. Is Denise the person's parents' name or Abraham? So let's assume that Abraham is the uh, family name then abraham will go here okay and then denise denise slip might go in this section okay just be careful in your passport it says giving names you don't have middle names in ghana we don't use middle names so please don't go and put middle names let me say that okay in ghana inside your passport there's no column for middle names so don't stress yourself with the middle names you check no middle name you have to put both to the the two names here and then you put your family the name that you are inheriting from your family inheriting from your father inheriting from your grandmother your grandfather somebody that you were named after you have to put that name here like me my name if i if i will go here you cannot put if i here if i must go here and then my phyllis a tear will be here i will not put a tear here i put phyllis a tear here okay so if you are confused please if you have a passport then look inside your passport where it says uh surname that is where it will go in this column and when it says uh giving names it will go in this column and then you check no middle name all right so uh let's see now i want to talk to you about the photo okay I want to talk to you about the photo. Oh, I stood up a little bit and now it's like I'm tired. It's like I was tilted a little bit. All right, so now we're going to talk about the photograph, right? I've talked about that a couple of times, but today I was like, let me talk about it again because I see some people are still asking about the photo. Some people are still asking about the photo, okay? Some people are still asking about the photo. Um, so please make sure the photo is on a white background. A white background or off-white. Or eggshell. Eggshell. Kusia. Kusia fufu. Nechino. The shell. no. Aha. That is the color. You see that? That kind of color or white. So it doesn't have to be like pure white. Right? If you have pure white background, that is okay. If you have a, you know, slightly dirty, 
white that is okay because it's off white right but don't go and take cream cream color is not good right um like when i look at um if you are a Ghanaian and you have a Ghanaian passport when you look at the new passport the photo the background looks like cream color don't take your photo in that color okay cream color is not uh the correct color for this dv lottery um let me show you my picture i have shown you many times this is picture that i took many 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 years ago all right you see the background is white the background is white you would think that i don't even have a shirt on yeah my shirt was very light green mint green very light so yeah make sure your background is white don't get any red blue yellow green cream um ivory beige no white or off white that's like egg shell egg white egg the shell i'm not talking about brown eggs i'm talking about white egg so the color make sure that um you do that okay um a champ when you're asking what is the time i place the time is eight 8 38 p.m okay guys please when you take your photo don't let them give it to you in your hand let them uh email it to you that is why a few days ago i posted on this page that those of you who are going to use some people's email address ha email address is free it's not for sale go and create an email address on gmail go go to gmail you know what I will do a live video and show those of you who don't know how to create your email address. We will do this. I just want to make sure that you are free. You have the freedom. I don't want you to win the lotto and then somebody use their email address to do it for you. So now they're asking you for money. If you don't give them the money, they will not tell you the email address. You don't have the confirmation number. You don't have the email address and now you cannot get it. So, I don't want you to use anybody's email address to fill this thing for you, guys. So, please, heed to the advice. Heed to the advice. Use your own email address. Don't use your boyfriend's email address. Don't use your husband's email address. Use your own. You can create one for free. Don't use your, your girlfriend's email address. Don't use your wife's email address, your children's email address. You know, human's relationship, human relationship. What if by the time you win and you have broken up with your girlfriend? Eh, what are you going to do? What if after you win, the marriage is no longer there? What are you going to do? Use your own information. Don't go and borrow somebody. Email address is not like salt. You go and borrow it to cook your food. You can create one, right? Uh, Nanado, he said, white background then, then ideally one is to wear a white color. Ah, uh, Oh, a color quite different from white. Yes, yes, yes. If, if you are... I think it depends so but yeah definitely if the background is white because like this one my shirt is not even white oh. but when you, you would think that you have to see yeah it looks white but it is not my shirt is not even white right so when you're going to take the uh the photo yeah uh nana thank you for that point when you're going to take the photo when you go to a photo studio please just be mindful of the background okay you can have maybe a different color of shirt, right? But also remember, your skin color too might play uh, some role in that, okay? Let's say you are dark like me. You are black beauty like me, okay? And you're going to take your photo. Don't go and wear black dress. For me, now I can do this because my background is this, right? If you are going to take a photo, photo and you go, you are very dark, darker than me, black, and you go and wear a black dress, ha, you see, you'll be lost in this photo. So just be mindful of the color, okay? 
be mindful of your own complexion so that your photo will look nice okay your photo will look nice for you i i beg after all you're going to pay for this photo make sure it looks nice it represents you well okay so if you are very dark skin please don't go and wear some dark black black and then you're in high and when you're going to if you're going to take the photo of yourself and you are very dark you are very black right very dark skin there's nothing wrong with that there are some dark skin from south uh south sudan very beautiful colors but if you're somebody with dark skin like uh that and when you you decide to take the photo by yourself you need to make sure you have good light if you don't have good light that photo is not going to work you need a lot of light so that it will reflect on your skin if imagine if my light was you know dim you will not see me right so just be mindful of your complexion so if you are very dark skin when you're taking your photo make sure you have enough light enough light for me i tell you the best way to avoid any hassle any wahala go to studio please when you go to studio don't let anybody who doesn't really know their job take some foolish photo of you i've seen some some studio photos they look like they took it in somebody's bedroom make sure you're going to a good photo studio when you go there and the light look like they poured uh cooking oil on your face ha i beg if you're paying you make sure that you're getting quality picture so when you go to a photo studio and the place is not equipped and you see that you're like please i'll be right back uh, you know i need to let me you leave them you run away from there right so don't be too cheap when it comes to taking the photo just make sure that you get good photo. The quality is good. Resolution is good. Resolution is when your photo looks, you know, if your resolution is not good, your photo will look weird. People will have to squint to, to see you. Your photo will look fuzzy. If the exposure is bad, it will look like somebody put a, a flashlight on your forehead to shine in your face. If your exposure, the exposure is no good, you will look like you're standing in front of a car headlight. So please be mindful of these things, okay? Be mindful of these things. Um, and then, like I said, when you get the photo, let them email it to you. When they email it to you, then you go and check it on State Department website. I will show you the site right now. You go and check it on the State Department website sometimes the uh, when you're checking your photo it's it's you know it's it adds it has its own personality okay the the two sometimes i remember i took a photo and then i tried to upload it try to crop it when i cropped that thing it cut my neck off i was like hey this is not good so sometimes use your own judgment when that thing crops your photo and you see that it is only your head that is showing common sense we tell you that passport photos don't look like that so the fact that the system you upload your photo onto the state department their photo editor too and it crops it for you you should use your own eyes to make judgment that huh this photo that it looks like it cuts me from my my head off my neck is not even there then you should know that that photo is not good okay so just be mindful just be mindful you have to use your eyes so even though the computer will do its own thing the the computer application will crop your photo for you you too you are supposed to be the supervisor you look at the photo and you can tell whether it is good or not if the thing crops your head and takes your neck off takes all of the your neck and the rest of your body off and only has your head that should tell you common sense that mm, this photo is not good if it crops it here it crops it right here your collarbone something should tell you that this is not good okay uh frederick yeah you can have beard in your photo 
you can have beard in your photo uh papa bossy um i think you sent me a message uh, i'll get to you okay i'll get to you yeah i've had like a lot of things and stuff that's what happened i'll get to you and then i'll add you to the to the telegram group i don't have a whatsapp group now the whatsapp group is only for 2022 and um after the fiscal year is over i'm going to close that group so it's just telegram so i'll get to you okay just be patient all right hi michael thanks for joining me so please make sure that your photograph is correct and that goes for those of you who are married please if you're not married don't ask me what about us who are not married I said, make sure your photo is correct. That goes for everybody. But if you are married, don't say that you, the principal, the main applicant, you are the only person whose photo is supposed to be good. No. You and your wife or your husband, their photo too must be good. If you're going to add your children, if you have children that you're going to put on an application, your children too, their photo must be good. So if you say that, oh, me, I'm the woman, I'm going to apply, I'm going to add my three children. As for my children, I can bring full photo, full photo. Uh -uh. Even if you win and you go for interview, they will disqualify you. They will say that your photo is not required. That's not meet the requirement. You say, oh, my own photo looks well. They will say, but your daughter's photo, she's standing there holding her waist. They will say, that's not the right photo. It doesn't matter. So... If you are, you are somebody who is married and you are including your spouse, please make sure that your spouse's photo also meets the same strict requirement. If you have children, if you don't have children, why are you worried about children? I'm talking to those who, are, who have children. If you have children, make sure that their photo too is meeting the same requirement as you. You don't go and take any foolish photo of your child and say that, oh, me, I'm the main applicant. So my own photo needs to be from the photo studio. And then your children, you line them by your house wall. You line your children by the wall and you take the photo. Eh -eh. When you win the lottery, they will disqualify you. They will say that your children's photo doesn't meet the requirement. So make sure that the photo that you're doing, all right, you are, it meets the requirement. Um, Frederick, you are asking because last year the guy who did it uh, said that I have to shave my beard. I did so, but didn't win it because it is random selection. They don't care. They are not even looking at your photo. Okay, after you win, after you win, that is where they will start looking at your photo. When you apply for the DV lottery, they are not looking at your photo. It is the their computer application, right? That you are going to submit your DV lottery application on. They have set it that if the photo is oversized, they have told the computer, accept photos that are minimum this size, maximum this size. If the photo is bigger than this size that we have given you, reject it. If the photo is smaller than this size that we have given you, reject it. So whether it was a monkey in the photo, the computer is not reading it. But after you win, and you are preparing to go for interview. When you go for interview, that is where they will pull your the lottery application that you did. And then now they will look. Eh. So you took this foolish photo and you have won. We are not going to give you the visa. So make sure that you're going by the rules. Whether you take the right photo or not the right photo, you can still win. Winning is random. There's no trick. Somebody will email me, hey, sister, can you show me the best way to win? Hey, if I have tricks of winning, my family members, all of them will be here now. If anybody tells you that they have a way of showing you how to win the lottery, ask them, why is that your uncles and your aunties are in your country? Why haven't they come here? Why are they there? Why haven't you played for them to come? There's no trick. All that I'm showing you guys is that if you follow the rules and you win, I'm not saying that if you follow the rules, you will win. I said if you follow the rules and you win, so you can not follow you, you can decide to not follow the rules 
and when. You can follow the rules and also when. But the difference between the two of you is that when you go for the interview, the one who didn't follow the rules will not get his or her visa. The one who followed the rules, when that person wins, that person will get the visa. So whether you follow the rules or you don't follow the rules, you can win. Whether you take the photo with your hair covering your, your chin like this, you can win the lotto. But the difference between you and the person who will get their visa is whether you follow the rules. If you don't follow the rules, they will not give you the visa. So you can win the lottery and not get the visa. You've seen that on this page. I have posted people's interview experiences on the page. There are some of them you read and you're like, ah, so what happened? So why, why did this person do this? What is, some of them, when you read them, you yourself, you can tell what the problem was, right? I want you to avoid that because it's sad when you have gone through this process. When you won, you went to church to thank God. You have told your friends, I'm going to America. And then you go for an interview and they refuse you visa. Imagine you have done your medicals. You have spent money. When you go for the interview, they will collect the visa fee. It is not refundable. They will not give to you. If you don't pass the interview, they are not giving you the visa fee. You have, it is money you have thrown away. That is why I'm trying to educate you. So that you understand the rules. So that when you win, you don't go and waste your money. Because you, you did not follow the rules. Because you did not listen. So please, listen to advice. But I, like I, I always say, it is, you know, it is a suggestion, right? Advice is always like a suggestion. If you like it, you take it. If you don't like it, you can ignore it, all right? But I hope that you will take it because this is good information for you, okay? Um, Papa Bosti, you're asking that, you are in UAE and uh, you want to do your medicals and an interview there. Hope it can be possible. Yeah, you can do it there. Yeah, it is possible. If that is, you can do it wherever you live at, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so guys, thank you so much for your time. Um, and I really appreciate you coming here uh, tonight and listening to me. Those of you who don't get to, you know, uh, who are not able to join in the live video. I hope that later um, you'll be able to watch the video because it will be posted here for you to watch it. Please, many of you, you have so many questions. Watch the videos and you will get your answers. If you refuse to watch the video and you'll be inboxing me, remember hundreds of people are inboxing me, some from TikTok, some from YouTube, some from Facebook. I am one person. I cannot attend to everybody. Sometimes I'm people like, we want to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. Hey, I don't have the, the luxury of that time, right? To be talking to you one-on-one. -on -one. That is why I make videos, right? Imagine if even the uh, 10,000 people who follow this page, if everybody were to send me an email, do you think that if I were to say that, I would talk to everybody? Ha, huh, I wouldn't finish now. So that is why I make the videos so that you can watch it and then your questions will be answered. I cannot do everything for you. That is why I make those videos. Okay? So you watch them and then understand them. All right? Um, uh, Francis, uh, uh, Frederick, what is your question? You said you're still, um, because you are VIP badge driver here and looking for a job, but uh, for that job, I can get it. I don't know what's your question. I don't know if I can help you with your question. You're looking for a job. With that. It doesn't. Um, but guys, thank you so much for your time. Um, and so I hope that you've enjoyed the li this live video. You share with your friends and families. And as we are approaching um, October 5th, October 5th, let me see uh, the calendar. Let me see calendar uh for october 2022 i'm looking at october 2022 calendar okay so um a week this wednesday's week they will be opening the devil tree application this wednesday's week 
then they will open the official DV lottery application. So guys, prepare. Don't wait uh, till November 8th when they are closing. Last days are dangerous. Last days, I remember a few years ago, somebody waited last day trying to submit and the website kept crashing and crashing and crashing and the deadline came. He couldn't apply, okay? So don't wait till the last day. You can apply on the first day, the second day, the third day, the fourth day, the fifth day, the uh, week later, two weeks later, but don't wait until November 8th. Don't wait until November 8th, all right? But guys, I cannot register for anybody. I'm not going to register for anybody, all right? Um, uh, Kweku, uh, Kim Kweku, I have posted the, uh, the dimension on this page. You can look for it. I have posted this thing on this page here. All right. So guys, when you come looking for information, go down on the page. I have posted a lot of things, right? Because I cannot be repeating the same information over and over for everybody, right? So just go down on the page. I have posted this thing there not too long ago. Okay. So look for it there. Um, but guys, thank you so much for your time and your patience. Um, but guys, know that you have to uh, be proactive. Do things for yourself because you cannot get people to do things for you all the time. All right? Um, so uh, as time progresses on, I'll be making more videos. And hopefully that will get you ready um, ready for the DV Lottery uh, registration. All right? So guys, thank you so much for your time. And I will see you on my next video. All right. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.